Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to No Man's Sky Survive Live. Of course, we're not live. This is the live stream extras. We have a ton of stuff to do today. Why can't a nice fighter just come in? That would be nice. I have this thing. It could be a nice fighter if I worked on it. Uh, out there somewhere, right there, is a grave. And uh, we have uh, six of our um, six of our glyphs. Good grief! It's going to be that hard. Basic word like glyphs. And um, whoops! I forgot that I was in survival. So first stop is the freighter, and uh, we will drop off all of this. Now I could just cast it to the freighter. Uh, I do have the um, matter beam installed. Wow. It's only 7.44 p.m. We'll just pull up over here next to this aggressive sentinel planet. Discovered by lava. And uh, call in the freighter. Call in the freighter. I can't warp it right there. I can warp it right there, though. Look at that thing. Uh, how many nanners do we have? Oh, maybe we should change the color of the freighter. Should we do that? Change the whole thing to that weird green color. <laughs> we could change it to blue. I can only buy one of the blues. I don't have enough nanners for both. Uh, what's going on? Am I out of fuel? Oh, man. Continue cooking. Oh. I'll put it in there. Wow. Can't even drop an intangible object. My suit is full. We need uh, to get building parts. I need to spend all the salvage data. All right. Let's see what we got here. We have a zero. We have a one. Do we have any more... Uh, yes, we do. We have a two. Is that a three? Did I change it? That's a three. And there's a four and a five. <laughs> uh, six. Um, we don't need it yet. All right, let's see what's in here, because I don't remember. Good grief. Oh, boy. That's it. 2,000 sodium. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Um, I was going to try to move things, but then I forgot how... Like that. That's how you do it. Oh boy, that's a lot of sodium. Um, all right. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, that will all fit in one slot. I also bought tons and tons of copper. And actually, I think that will fit. And this can go in there. And we will take that. Lots of tainted metal left over. Haven't done that stuff yet. Uh, Lava and I did a 285 uranium. Lava and I did a derelict freighter um, last Thursday. Uh, didn't I? Oh, I installed them already. Okay, so salvage frigate modules. Uh, these go on the freighter. Oh boy. Upstairs. Oh, I already have one. Yay! That's what I bought those for. Was <laughs> uh, there's pyrite here, but not uranium. All right. So let's go get that grave because I am, you know, probably gonna forget about it. I could fill the bay with ships from Expedition Rewards. 
and um, Twitch rewards. But um, I don't like any of the ships. And so it would just be filling the bay just for the purpose of scrapping all those ships, which I might do. I might have already scrapped a couple of them. I seem to remember shooting an episode where I scrapped the vector. <laughs> like on purpose. No, come on. <laughs> it's a nice ship. I just don't like small fighters. Just because you can make the inside big doesn't make it a big fighter. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> nice place for a bunch of selenium. Uh, experimental updated today. And so we have that experimental patch. Uh, some people are having some difficulty with it. And we will know once we get on to the anomaly uh, if we're going to have that difficulty as well. That dog actually startled me a little bit. Uh, there's something. Okay, look. There we go. There's another one. Nope, not the rock. The biological entity. There's only two animals left. Uh, oh, there's a sentinel headed my way. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get this. Keep making it. 9,725. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at that. That's nice looking. I love this color of space. I know a lot of people like black space, but this lit space, this sort of light blue colored space is super nice. <laughs> Just use up the tritium, even though I need it for fuel. Uh, you know what? That is one thing that I forgot to do. I know I sent that ship out, and it's clearly back. It would have been back after an hour. It was probably back before the end of the live stream. But uh, I forgot to check on that. Righty, let's do that and see if I can remember to do two things. <laughs> I have four things to do, to do when I came on board the freighter the first time, and uh, I did two of them. Oh my god, I'm out of energy already. That's what those nanites are for, not this silly cosmetic business. Um light blue wait uh, how do I buy uh oh uh oh I found an issue uh oh, oh. alright we'll save that one for later my question was how do I buy a color dang it Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, mission. Uh, where did I put the room? Oh yeah, I put it in the wrong place because I was confused. <laughs> That's what happens when you're live streaming, trying to read chat and listen to the person you're live streaming with. You survived. Woohoo, Corvax, Corvax casings. All right. Those are hopefully on the freighter and not on me. Very cool. All right, anomaly. I gotta move that room. <laughs> it's supposed to be right there. <laughs> but it's the next hallway down. 
All right, we have seven. Seven glyphs. You only need one if you want to do uh, intergalactic travel. But uh, if you want to go to a specific place, uh, you'll need at least that many glyphs, whatever the address is. Let's just go up here. The uh, platinum in this system is really, really nice. Watch me break it. <laughs> All right, let's go spend some data. And did, oops, got that. I think that's all of it. Just quickly look through. I can convert the platinum, but as you can see, you need 35 platinum for each individual nanite. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, game is saved. Now the problem uh, that the person in Mia's chat last night had was getting back in their ship on the anomaly. That seems to be working for us okay. There's there's individual differences between all of our computers, which is the purpose of experimental, is to get the, the patch out to as many people as you can, so as many people as possible can test it. Uh, unfortunately, they can't do experimental with PS, a PlayStation or Xbox. If they could do experimental with Xbox, then we wouldn't have so many Xbox problems, I don't think. I think they would see them and they would fix them. I haven't had a nutrient processor in a long time. Uh, let's see, what else would I like to have? I definitely don't want a combal, but a message module, those are fun. Uh, definitely need an SRT and the cable that goes with it. Um, eventually, I'm going to cover these again. The oxygen harvester, autonomous mining unit, and atmosphere harvester. Those, that's what we used to do. That's what we had before. Um, do I want any of these things? I need that. Uh, I've got the, my favorite one is the Geo, oh yeah, we want that. What do I need for that? Three warp cells, I have everything else. Very cool. The motorcycle's an awful lot of fun. Maybe we'll get that. And underwater parts. Um, oh boy. These crazy things. Um, here's all the crazy new stuff. <laughs> I was going to get it anyway. I figured out what my problem is with that. You see how the mouse moves back to the center? I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm hitting the left mouse button instead of the right mouse button. And uh, that's why I keep buying things that I don't intend to buy. <laughs> Most of these things are working. I'm really looking forward to the tide drapes. Oops. Um, is it the other way? Uh, alloy, alloy, stone. This just takes forever. How about just a buy all button? There's so many games uh, out there that are that have take all, send all uh, buttons just to save your hand from hitting these buttons, uh, you know, hundreds of times. And oops. <laughs> just spilt something and um, it'd be nice if we could have those take all at least take all this 
send all would be nice. <clears throat> Is this the right stuff? I think it is. Yeah, it says stone. I don't, like, I built a little bit with the alloy. The alloy. Some of the wood parts are, are really gorgeous. We'll go ahead and grab them. I haven't used that part yet. That looks really pretty. I don't know when we're going to be base building again, but um, because we built um, sort of super fast um, activated indium farms and um, they must have been just basic wood parts and mechanical parts. And uh, <clears throat> so these survival saves are a lot more about traveling than anything else. And I would like to fix up the freighter. I haven't fixed up a freighter in a really long time. Like the uh, permanent, uh, permadeath the journey freighter, it had a whole like living room. <laughs> And just old parts, like, um, the new parts, like, a lot of them can go on the freighter. And, yeah. I think, are we done? Yep, we're done. Okay. Yay. Yay, we got it all done. All right, now then, these, uh, X-Craft are worthless without these. There we go. And uh, I've never used these. There's nothing wrong with them. They work great. I've just never used them. Um, probably because I haven't been playing permadeath or survival for a long time. And uh, I still play permadeath. I just haven't done any content. Hey. <laughs> Milestones! I know I have a couple. We're not gonna see those for an hour. Gotta get through all the stone parts. Howdy. Can I have a free pass? Thanks. Not sure if I got that. <laughs> and there's some planetary data as well. Very cool. Right. So there's something wrong with the freighter getting in and out of um, menus on that main, on the deck there. Yes, let's go kill some foliage. It's my favorite mission. It's going to be going for a while. Oh, are we up to wood already? Oh, good. <laughs> All right. We don't even have to leave the system. We just have to find out what terrible planet we are to kill foliage on. I don't see the signal. There it is. Okay. Ah, oh, the Cerulean planet. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna run out of fuel again. Oh my god, I had a ton of those launch fuel things on me. That's crazy. We really have like a lot a lot of things to do. Lava is so so far ahead. And it's because I'm, like, playing four or five saves at the same time right now. And uh, he, like, tends to play one save intensely. Um, and then he goes to another save. All right. 
Alrighty. It's gonna be dark and creepy down here. I'm surprised it didn't send me here in the first place. I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to find this um, grave marker. Uh, unless it's right here. Nope, that's not a grave marker. I do see one on my HUD though. That way. I can just see it. <laughs> it's right there. We go. Turn on some light. Uh, I think this place is probably dark like this in the middle of the day. Probably shouldn't kill that until after I get the mission. <laughs> That'll be our first one. Howdy. This is a terrible place to die. Why'd you even come here? All right, plant number one of 12, not too bad. Oh, I think those are, um, yeah. I was thinking that they were, <laughs> that they were the other kind of eggs, but they're not. They're humming sa sacks, humming eggs. I don't see any plants, so. Oops that way somewhere. There should be some right here. This is a cave. Kind of. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. That way somewhere. It's right there. <laughs> Oh, the sentinel's not gonna like that. <laughs> Bugger boo, sentinel. I think that's the sun coming up. If you can call it that. <laughs> wow. That's what I was thinking. Even in the even during the day, of course, only morning, but uh, it's still dark. Yeah, I know. What's creeping up behind me? Oh wow! Look at how much movement. Oh my gosh! All right, a bird. Oh my God, you know what, dude? You're just gonna have to deal with it. Get out of my way. There you go. I hope you saw that good and clear. What's that, floating? Oh, floating crystals. Come here, Sentinel. I got a show for you. <laughs> Holy moly, look at them all. Do we have time? Not really. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Okay, let's start. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I don't know if we're going to do the expedition uh, live on stream. I think we might just do survive live and... Um, and try to have some fun because I don't think the expedition is going to be uh, particularly fun. We'll, we'll have to be paying close attention to what we're doing and we'll have to be hurrying. And by now you've all done the expedition. If you haven't, I shot it uh, five episodes, five phases. And um, it's in a playlist called Expeditions 4. And it is all ready to go. It's super straightforward. Even if you uh, do miss something, it's really easy to just go back and get whatever it is that you missed. 
and I'm pretty sure that the way that Lava and I play, we can't get that done in two hours. <laughs> Oh, that was a ton of them. What did we get? 22 of them. Oh, I like seeing iridescite in that mix. Oh, uh, Grand Tine. Uh, Gold Nugget. Herox, Geodesite. There we go, three iridescite, very cool. Oh my God, look at that thing. Totally looks like it could eat me. Uh, where'd those birds go? There we go. Who? Oh wait, that's only two of nine. Uh oh. Oh, that was the other planet. I'm a big dummy. There it is. <laughs> So I only have 100 Quicksilver, so I was thinking maybe I could just like run Quicksilver missions all night long. I also need to run um, like, I don't know, 40 more derelicts? Ugh. <laughs> oh, there's a knowledge stone over there. Hello. Uh, stop. <laughs> I don't know what's more important to me, getting this mission done or scanning all these creatures. I'm making a ton of money, 389000 for that one. That's pretty cool. All right, where's the next one? That way. That's what the game says, but probably there's something closer. That knowledge stone go. Oh my goodness. There it is. It is fairly easy to see the uh, plants. Now watch me, I'll run right into one. <laughs> oh, it's super easy to see them. Whack. Looks like one right over there. So I started playing subsistence yesterday. I swore I never would because I don't think games should be so stressful. I think they should be fun. So I'm playing, um, I'm playing it without the hunters and on easy mode and I'm still dying every 15 minutes and I think you guys know um, you know that I'm fairly decent at permadeath <laughs> but <laughs> this uh, oh there's still another one there maybe yep there is look at that but uh, subsistence was designed by a single developer, first of all. And he wanted um, a survival game that was like um, really hard. Something that, you know, really takes a great deal of effort to survive. And um, he did it, man. I'll tell you what. The uh, bears and wolves. <laughs> Uh, they are spaced just far enough apart until you start messing with them. They're just far enough apart that you can walk right between them, but you gotta know they're both there, you know? And, uh, no, I'm not going back, game -o. Let's find another one. Let's use the, use the real one, the real visor. <laughs> Oh my goodness.
129,000 for a little bird like that. That's pretty cool. What is that? Uh, was that 10? I think that was 10 or 11. You know, this is supposed to be an aggressive sentinel planet, right? That was 11. Oh, wow. Two knowledge stones. We are going to find one more. Hopefully very quickly. And uh, then go get paid. And tomorrow uh, we will be live that off quick there we go there's one 207 thousand for that one we will be live with lava lamp 64 at 4 p.m pacific and um, that is because of the time change in europe i'm hoping it's 4 p.m pacific i forgot to talk to people bum about it but um because I hate to ask Lava to go early, but I might start early if uh, Beebs ends at 3 Pacific, um, then I will uh, start early uh, without Lava if he's not ready to go. And um, yeah, we will work on these saves and see what uh, wondrous and amazing things that Lava has found this week. I'm super happy about getting this Quicksilver. It's only 250 Quicksilver, but it's a start. You gotta start somewhere, you know? And uh, I'm not the kind of person to use the save editor to improve my character's lot. Um, if something's broken in my game, you bet I'll load up that save editor and fix it. But uh, like uh, when Beyond first dropped, uh, there was a bug, and every time you bought something, uh, either nanites or quicksilver, you would lose all of them. And um, so, yeah, I fixed that. When they fixed it, I fixed it on my end. Let's take a look. We're almost there with the first item on the list. And um, we are the second, excuse me. So we have the blue stargaze uh, decal. So we're almost there with the Red Strider, and then we'll have a landed ship. And these are just decals. And um, we got these awesome f uh, sails. I keep calling them flags, but they're not. They're sails. Uh, I have that and that. And that. I'm glad about that. And, oh, these things are cool. Mud Hut, woohoo! I actually own all of these things, but I'm only able to get some of them. And a lot of people have had that problem, I've noticed, and it is very, very irritating. It's like, okay, cool, thanks for giving me all the cheap stuff. What about all the stuff that I actually paid for? Like, you guys know that I have all this armor because I have it on my other saves. But in the meantime, we can go change our pants and our shirt. And then, uh, and then we'll end off and we will be back tomorrow either at 3 p.m. Pacific or 4 p.m. Pacific. The time changes at different uh, times uh, for different regions. Well, how did my armor get that color. Should we turn it black? Oh, I kind of like white better. And legs. I just got to find them. Uh, there they are. Because, uh, yeah. That's got the knife, right? There we go. Very cool. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Please come and join us for the live stream. We would love to see you there. And uh, as always, have an amazing day. Bye. <laughs>